Let me start this with my little experience. When I was young, when I was 15, I guess, that's when I started liking hip hop music. And I don't, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think the hip hop music had that mesmerizing gravity that pulls me in. When I listened to it, I just kept listening. And, and then as I listened to more, I start to focus on, and on how the rapper write their lyrics. They write about their stories, their anecdotes, and their thoughts, and how, what life they want to live in. And as I listen to more, um, it really comes to clear in my mind that what rappers are thinking. And this question appears when you listen too much of hip hop. Why not I write my own lyrics, my life, what life I want to live in? And then I start uh, writing my own lyrics. At the 15, I used to have a lot of stress. And I start to write about my struggles, troubles, and what life I want to live in in the future, my dreams. And then it becomes more clear about my purpose of my life. And I made a song. It was not really good, but I felt proud of myself. And this is what I'm going to tell you today, which is the hip hop therapy. The hip hop therapy is the new innovative form of counseling and the therapy for the students who may reject or not respond to the traditional way of counseling. Hip hop music is an expressive music and write about themselves. So it provides the students the, the chance to speak about themselves in a hip hop music. So it is first invented in the Bronx in the United States and it is now spreading all over the country. And I'll tell you what the step is. First, lyric writing. The students were asked to write about themselves. And we, you can also try it. You can write the things which you, not, you would not have talked to the, your counselor or stranger. It is you versus the paper. You can write the, everything you want to say in a lyric writing. And then song production. There are some constitutes of hip hop, as you know, some rhyme, flow. You can insert, you can implement that and then write a song and you can record it. And this is considered to be a very significant process since it is important for students to, after making the song, to proud of them, their achievement, that they can give it to their teachers and friends. And lastly, the performance. With the based on their lyrics, they made a song. And then finally, they need to perform to their friends and teachers about what they have made. And their sing as their song is based on their true stories. They can express what they have not talked to their parents before through the song. And there's always skepticism. And let's talk about that. In America, there's a lot of psychological studies going on with this hip hop therapy. And I would like to quote some of the neuro, neuroscientists from the Cambridge. Dr. Becky, she said, hip hop has, compared to the other music, hip hop has the rich visual narrative style, which means when you listen to the rap, you can capture, the, you can picture what is going on. And makes, this makes an ideal medium for helping individuals understand their psychological problems and for the ways to deal with them. And then he is Thomas Alvarez, who is a social worker spreading the hip hop therapy to the youngs in the United States. She says, those students who did not meet me in traditional counseling method, they're now writing their own songs and changing their life. He says, it is important to give something that youth can be proud of. And lastly, the New York Times also dealt on an article in Bronx about the hip hop counseling. They said, expressing day-to-day -day story into hip-hop. Hip-hop therapy is an innovative route to mental well-being. So we can say, through hip-hop therapy, the youth can express their, themselves. And then the reason I chose this topic is quite, it started with the one simple question. Since I liked hip-hop from when I was young, I had this question in my mind. What hip-hop can do good to society? And then I found this concept and I actually, I actually take it into action. I wrote a proposal and I got a grant, actually went to the United States to study hip hop therapy. 
And these are the uh, uh, schools in Bronx where hip hop therapy is really taking a places. It was really surprising for me since I read only the article, but through my eyes, I saw real changes going on. And my dream is to implement this concept to Korea. A lot of Korean youth, they like hip hop. And I know there are a lot of people in Korea, especially students, who suffer from stress and they have no place or no route to express, express themselves. I want this hip hop therapy to be a vessel for them. Lastly, I would like to quote one of the famous and my beloved hip hop artists, Kanye West. Since this is a presentation class, I, I like to quote this. Believe in your flyness, conquer your shyness. I think the hip hop therapy can have a very good answer to our problem. Thank you.